when a country look at a profile of a student who is entering their country the visa officer pretty much have instructions that see if this profile is going to benefit the country they are coming in technology engineering and mathematics background and which are the kind of businesses who have achieved the heights of success hi hello everyone this is chakit from bsc global education in this video we are going to discuss about the future of education since i have been an international student and you are an aspiring international student so we have a common ground that we are looking for a bright future that is why you are taking the step of studying abroad so in this video we are going to discuss about the courses which are going to be highly in demand which are going to give you the surety that you will be getting the high highest roi what is the roi which is return on investment you will be making a lot of heavy investment on your education and you are looking forward to get a return on it that is in terms of a high salary high visa success chances and high reputed university which will make sure that you will have a secure future abroad so watch this video carefully because i am going to discuss a lot of points which will help you make a better decision in making your life easy in the future do not watch this video if you are not serious about studies because this video is not for the students who are just focusing on the visa part where else visa is just one of the requirement for your brighter future which obviously i am going to take care of because you and me both have the mutual benefit if you will get the visa so forget about the visa part that i will take care my team will take care but focus on the points which i am going to talk about in this video so now you have to imagine going for forward what is the scope of the businesses what are the businesses trying to achieve and which are the kind of businesses who have achieved the heights of success most of these businesses are from the technology sector you take the name of a company in each sector and see how they were able to scale that business be it jio be it airtel be it zomato be it swiggy be it the insurance uh, policy bazaar be it paytm all these companies were able to make such huge businesses because of the technology so one thing is clear that if you really want to succeed then you need to be very close to the technology since we have established that what are the courses which are going to be highly in demand in the future this is what we are going to crack down in this video so if you have lost the interest is probably you are not serious about making your future you are not serious about the studies but if you are serious about the studies and about your future then continue watching this video till the end so what are the future courses the future courses are the stem courses which are stem courses the courses which are from the science technology engineering and mathematics background not just these you can also include the healthcare courses you can also include the courses which are going to make sure that they deliver the businesses for those companies where you will be working in so we need to focus on these stem courses so what are the stem courses science technology engineering mathematics all these courses are highly in demand throughout the world when a country look at a profile of a student who is entering their country the visa officer pretty much have instructions that see if this profile is going to benefit the country they are coming in if your profile has some neck over the other student then definitely you are going going to get the advantage what are those advantages so students who are from science engineering technology and mathematics background even healthcare these are the students who are the brighter ones they are the ones who have got the highest probability of success in life and in business and in job they are the hard working ones and this is where the immigration have a soft corner because you are the one who are going to help the businesses in their country who are going to make money for them you are the one who will be paying high taxes you are the one who will be getting getting high salaries so this is where your demand comes in if you are doing a course which is which falls under the stem courses then definitely you are going to have a brighter future so what are the different kind of stem courses which you can avail so especially if you are from the science engineering background so first course which you can focus on is the computer science mechanical engineering chemical engineering structural engineering civil engineering architecture data science data analytics machine learning cyber security artificial intelligence healthcare management 
all these courses are highly in demand throughout the world not just in india not just in us not just in uk not just in australia new zealand everywhere in the world these are the courses which are highly in demand if you fall in any under any of these courses then definitely you are going to have a very very bright future trust me on this all the companies who want to scale they cannot scale without technology all the apps which are using the the mobile you are watching this video right now the computer you are watching this video right now they are built based on these principle only that technology is the solution which is going to build big businesses and if you are part of those companies then definitely you are going to have a lot 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 of opportunities in the future what you need to focus on is getting a university which has high reputation consider iit iims of india what are their rankings their rankings falls in 200s what if i tell you if you have 60% marks you can study at the world top 100 universities doesn't it sound enticing yes it does so what you need to do is you need to explore your options like with my percentage with my background with my profile how i would be able to get into the stem courses stem courses are just not limited to science uh, technology engineering and mathematics even the mba falls in the Uh, stem courses us has specially designed the courses in mba which are stem oriented which gives you the 3 years of post study work visa so you as an person you as a student you need to think about what are my options if i want to have a career which is going to give me high paying jobs which is going to give me a satisfying career which is going to give me a company which is going to make my life better this is where you need to choose the stem courses if you will stick to the stem courses you would have the highest probability of success in your career in my opinion this is what the approach should be now these stem courses are available in top 5 major countries which are those countries us uk australia new zealand canada even ireland germany these are the countries which you guys can think of there are hundreds of universities and i'm talking about in top 500 there are hundreds of universities which are ready for you to accept and they would be able to give you the degree which would be highly recognized throughout the world even if you'll study and come back to india you will get at least 3 to 4 times salary what a normal student gets in india so what are the entry requirements you must be wondering okay this guy has told me so much about the stem courses is it something which uh, which is in my reach or not so the entry requirement starts as low as with 50% marks 50% marks is the bare minimum where you can get a stem course going anything over and above the top 100 universities in the world they require 65 to 70% and above it, now it also depends from country to country course to course and university to university so you can get in touch with us so that we can help you out shortlist the best university as per your profile in all the countries which i have just mentioned with this requirement which is the percentage which you already have the second requirement comes for the english language ability you need to prove to these university and the countries that you have certain level of english and you would be able to read write listen and speak in english for that there are two three tests which you can take what first is the ielts which is international english language testing system the ielts requirement for pretty much all the universities is 6.5 not less than 6 there is another test called pt which is pearson test of english for that you need 58 overall not less than 50 this is out of uh, 90 overall and then you have toefl which is test of english as foreign language and you would require a score of 88 and above these are the very simple test which you can take you can take either of them also if you have 70% marks in your class 12 then you can get the ielts waiver as well in lot of universities in uk now when you are deciding that you would be taking such a huge step obviously studying abroad is not piece of cake in terms of the expenditure you would be expecting to spend anywhere between 12 to 15 lakhs for one year program the higher the university ranking there is a possibility that the fees would be little higher however if your profile is good then you can get the scholarship as well so this is where you need the education counselor who can help you shortlist the best university and help you get the guidance for the scholarship so we will help you get the admission we will help you with the visa now when it comes to the funding part you would need the funds for your 
education which is your tuition fees also you would need funds for your living expenses that if you are going to study there for say one year masters you are doing you need to have funds for your one year living expenses also however you are still getting a 20 hours posted uh, 20 hours work rights you can work part time to support your education but to, in order to get the visa you would need to show the funds that you have enough funds for your living expenses also so you have to plan your journey in certain manner that you would have enough funds for tuition fees enough funds for your living expenses then only you would be able to get the visa so for this entire duration you would need someone who can handhold you who can guide you and let you know the right way how you would be able to get the visa i've been doing this from last 10 years uh, and this youtube channel is dedicated for you guys that we are here to help you make the best possible uh, option which would be beneficial for your studies which will be beneficial for your future so if you need any sort of help in making sure that we would need proper guidance in terms of how to choose the best course how to make the visa application how to find the accommodation how your travel is going to be all the nitty gritties of the process we are here to help you so all you need to do is there is a link given in the description click that link get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help you we have helped thousands of students uh, we have crossed 14,000 subscribers we are approaching 15,000 subscribers and this is because we have been given a lot of genuine information which has helped the students and that's why they are subscribing to us so if you also want the information which can help you make better decision for your career which will help you get your visa then you can also consider to subscribe to us so that we would be able to reach out to you guys and we would be able to help you get the dream job the dream country you want to get into the dream college university course whatever your dream is we are here to fulfill your dream or at least help you achieve what you are looking for so thank you for watching this video i hope this video has been helpful for to you if it was then share it with your friends and family and subscribe to bsc and we shall see you in our next video till then you guys take care of yourself bye bye